a cheerleader is being covered in international headlines after she was ejected from a college basketball game, Mississippi Valley State, and Alabama A&M after she shoved a basketball player. We're going to get into the story, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. If you're watching from Mississippi or Alabama, let me know below in the comments. It was a pretty exciting game between the two schools, Alabama A&M and Mississippi Valley State. Now, this all started just after Mississippi Valley State made two free throws to tie the score 63-63, with a little over three minutes remaining in the conference game. However, on the inbound pass, Alabama A&M's Dalen Smith made a mistake and bumped into a cheerleader as she attempted to do a jump on the baseline. When the woman jumped, her back leg made contact with Dalen. She immediately looked behind her to see what happened. Dalen and the rest of the players continued on with the game, but then they stopped after the referee blew the whistle. The cheerleader took the opportunity to walk on the court and confront the player. She shoved him and said something to him like you ran into me and she wanted him to acknowledge her. The commentators called the game. They started talking about the incident while a woman in the background can be heard yelling for security. Alabama A&M's coach started going off. He was pretty much like, y'all didn't see that girl come over here and put her hands on my player. He couldn't believe that she was allowed to walk on the court and shove him, basically starting a confrontation. The coach kept going off to get security to do something. That's when seven members of the security staff made their way across the court towards the Mississippi Valley State cheerleader section. One of the security guards wrapped his arm around her shoulder and appeared to tell her that she needed to leave before she turned to the bench to grab her jacket. Tonight, so he's kind of made his prison field in a plank tonight. And Terry kind of nails both free throws by Thompson. And um, the Alabama a and coach, he's, he's fussing. He's fussing and cussing. Yeah. And coach is, coach is kind of losing it over here as he feels like. Security! Security! Um, and they're calling security. Not sure what's going on. And they're going to put one of the cheerleaders out of the game, it seems. Security has got involved in it. It's, it's getting real heated here at, at the R.W. Harrison Complex. They're walking towards the cheerleading section. And they're going to escort one of the cheerleaders out. I say one of the cheerleaders walk onto the court. And they're going to say she has to go. After the cheerleader was kicked out, the game did go on, only a couple of minutes left. The teams came down to the final seconds of the game, tied once again 68-68. It was junior guard Messiah Thompson for Alabama A&M responsible for the buzzer beater that pulled Alabama over Mississippi Valley 70-68. to 5, 4, 3, 2, it was a very exciting game. Shout out to everybody at Alabama A&M and Mississippi. So as you can see from the video, Dalen was just playing basketball and everybody knows whenever you're at any ball game, players can run into you, balls can hit you. It's all a part of the game. The players are there playing and the spectators are there watching and that's just how it goes. Dalen did not intentionally run into the cheerleader. There in the final moments of the game, I guess she thought that his attention was supposed to be on her. Dalen's attention was on the ball, not the cheerleaders. He had no clue she was about to jump. You know why? Because he was focused on the game. That's where his head was at. And even if you're playing a game and you make a mistake of bumping to somebody, was he supposed to stop playing while the time was running out on the clock? While everybody else started moving down to the other side of the court just to appease her? It doesn't work like that. I'm sorry, she was pretty silly for stumping across the court, mad and pushing him for being in her way while she was trying to do a jump on the baseline and he was playing the game. I do believe she was way out of order for that. 
Now, if he would have pushed her back, it would have been a problem and all the simps would have jumped up and tried to fight him. But you notice immediately when she did that, nobody was saying anything except for the coach and somebody's mama who was in the audience. Either Dalen's mom or it could have been a mother or family member of one of the other players who saw what the cheerleader did and immediately called her out for it. Whoever that woman was, shout out to her. She knew it was out of order and wasted no time making sure that the cheerleader was corrected in that moment. She ended up getting kicked out of the game, as she should have been, but I'm hoping that she was also suspended. Think about it. If Dalen intentionally walked over to a cheerleader and pushed her, he would definitely be suspended. So we need some equality here. Now Mississippi, they have about five more games left before the SWAC tournament. So if I had to think of what they should do with a cheerleader, I mean, they could do nothing, which I don't recommend, or they could kick her off the team. And I don't know, some may think that's excessive, but I think the middle ground here would be to allow her to continue to be a part of the team, just not this season. Go ahead and bench her for the rest of the season. She can come to the game to support her squad and the players, just not in uniform. So yeah, I think that she should be suspended for the last five games. It's not as harsh as completely kicking her off the team, but it sends a strong message of correction to this young woman that you can't just go around acting like that. If she did that to the wrong person, she would probably be taking a nap. So yeah, just suspend her, make her take anger management, and I'm thinking that should be enough to get her back on track so that she doesn't misbehave like this while representing the squad and the school. But if the school really wanted to send a message that they're against people putting their hands on others, they would completely just kick her off the team. Here's another example of modern women just being out of control. She had no business going over there putting her hands on him. He's playing and she's supposed to be supporting her team as a cheerleader. She's not the main attraction. People didn't show up to see them. Fans come there to watch the game and that one shove from the cheerleader could have been a domino effect and jumped off a big fight between the players. Because Dalen decided not to react and the security team stepped up and did their job, that de-escalated this whole situation that could have been much worse. So shout out to the whole team, Alabama A&M on the W, the coaching staff, and I can't forget about that woman on the sidelines who called for security too. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. I'm still here trying to figure out what she thought she was about to do. Did she think she was gonna go on the court and beat him up? Obviously the cheerleader she was out of order. How do you think she should be held accountable? Should they do nothing? Should she be suspended? Or should they kick her off the team? Special thank you to Tommy H. I appreciate you Tommy for all of your support as well as our sister Aisha Kiba. Also, I can't forget about Brian for sending this story in. I appreciate you, Brian. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.